Do you think assurance of salvation is a vital doctrine? Hi, I'm Ken Yates from Grace Evangelical Society, and I'd like to spend just a few minutes discussing that. And the reason I do is Grace Evangelical Society just had their annual conference, and the conference was on vital free grace issues. And one of the dominant themes in this conference was assurance of salvation. Can we know that we have eternal life now? Can we be absolutely sure, even though that's repetitious, that we are going to spend eternity with the Lord? My guess is that there are people who will listen uh, to this video and they'll say no. And that is certainly the most dominant view in Christendom. There are many people, for example, who believe you can lose your salvation, so therefore you can't have assurance because you don't know if you're going to lose it in the future. Then there are people who say you can't be sure that you really believed uh, until later, until you look at the fruit of your life, and even at the, you've got to wait till the end of your life uh, in order to evaluate whether you are a true believer or not. My experience is that uh, the vast majority of people in our pews today do not have assurance of eternal life. I want to put a plug in for this conference because in this conference over and over again we talked about the fact through various speakers, both the main speakers and then also even the breakout sessions that we had, that in fact the Bible does teach assurance of eternal life. And it is a very vital doctrine. Because if we don't understand assurance, then we don't understand what Jesus offers us. Because over and over again in the Gospel of John, Jesus says, I give you eternal life. You can never perish. You can never die. You can never thirst. You can never hunger. No one can pluck you out of my hand. So in order to understand the offer of eternal life that Jesus gives us, we have to understand that it is an assured thing because he said it and he cannot lie. And therefore, if we believe in him at that moment of faith, we have assurance that we are going to live with him forever. Now, of course, there are many believers who believe that at one time, perhaps when they were young, uh, and then because of false teaching, uh, they lose that assurance. But even if you lose that assurance, if you've believed in him and you know you had it at the moment of faith, you still have it. This is so important because I'm sure that all of us have friends, all of us have family members, who struggle with this. Uh, I'll tell you, part of what I do with Grace Evangelical Society is I, I teach in other countries. And invariably, when I go over there, uh, there is a strong belief that people can lose their salvation and people uh, live in fear. And there's many people in our pews that are living in the same way. So if you know somebody like that, or if you yourself is struggling with this, I would really, really encourage you to go on the YouTube channel at Grace Evangelical Society, where you are right now, and look at the uh, sessions that we had in this uh, conference that we just finished on vital free grace issues. Uh, what a glorious, uh, doctrine, assurance of salvation is. It's not a minor one. 
<laughs> it's a very, very important one. It's part of the gospel presentation. When Jesus gave the gospel, that's what he did. He, like, for example, the woman at the well, um, you'll never thirst for it again. God doesn't want his children in fear that they're going to be cast out of his presence for whatever reason when they, when they stand before him face to face. Remember the words of Jesus. He gives you eternal life and you can never perish. Check out those sessions. Uh, I think you'll be blessed by them. If you've liked this video, I would ask that you would press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And remember, keep grace in focus.